Let's look at exporting whole data from GIMP and importing that data into MicroStation. In the interest of time, I've already opened MicroStation and GIMP. In GIMP, the current library is version 5.0, or KYTC library version 5.0 as identified at the top of your screen. When exporting any whole data, the template we'll be using is KYTC Fence Diagram 11 by 17. This template allows the user to set the scale to a 10, 20, or 40 scale. However, because the template is set in inches and 10 feet is represented by one half inch, the scale that is keyed into GIMP will need to be multiplied by a factor of 2. Thus, a 10 scale will be keyed in as 20, a 20 scale as 40, and so on. We'll cover that later on. To begin the exporting process, the scale at which the whole data will be set within MicroStation must be identified. In this example, we'll be using a 10 scale. With the scale identified, the next step is to verify the data being sought has been entered into GENT. This can be done by clicking the drill hole tab and looking at the data fields. In this case, because the data fields are adequately populated, uh, we can assume that we have sufficient data to produce those uh, desired fence diagrams. Next, select the Output tab, followed by the Fences tab. Ensure that the template is set to KYTC Fence Diagram 11 by 17, and then select the holes to be exported. After selecting the holes to be exported, input your scale factor. In this case, we're using a 10, 10 scale, so you'll input 20, and then select the button equally spaced points along distance axis, 2D views only. At this point, the data selected can either be previewed or exported directly. To preview, click the eye and click OK. Using the preview, you are able to see and verify that the data you need is actually being collected and will show up on your DXF. Once you're done, click the closed eye to exit the preview. When certain that all your data has been collected and will be displayed, click single click once in the export to file field. This opens the save window. You can save it wherever you need to, but before you export it, before you click save down here, make sure to change the type from PDF to DXF. Then type in your name and click OK. Next, click the export button. This will bring up the user report variables uh, window which allows you to select what data on the holes will actually be exported. In this case, you're good, so you can click OK. With all your data exported, then you open up MicroStation and import the DXFs. Once in MicroStation, select References. You can either, you can either do that from this box or going to File and References. Then select Attach Reference. and select the DXF files you wish to reference. This brings up the reference attachment setting for each one. In each case, select Top. Select OK. And then drop wherever you need to. Next, highlight all of your holes and the data around them, and copy out the data. Once you've copied everything out, detach all the references. With your data still highlighted, begin to scale everything. 
in this case because we use the KYTC fence diagram 11 by 17 our, our scale factor will be 20 with everything still selected go in and scale the text to 1.2 by 1.2 in font 2 and don't worry about justification then format your text level, color, style, and weight for bore logs we typically use GPF BOR, PR and everything is by level be careful of profile holes with high plasticity ratings uh, as those lines are typically bold in order to make them bold you need to go in and change each one manually what that looks like is just coming in and changing the level to something a little bit more bold so that it shows up for our core holes the text will always be an Ashto 71 same size just the font will be Ashto once you have everything scaled appropriately and on the correct level all that's left is to move things to their final locations once this is finished compress the design file save settings and exit microstation.